Hi, it's Corrine, and today I'm making a shabby chic journal, and I'm using some gorgeous products from Wild Orchid Crafts. I'll be sure to link them down in the description box, as well as over on my blog with more detailed photos. I started with a black piece of chipboard, seven and a half by five and three quarters, actually two of them for the front and back cover, and I cut my papers to five and five eighths by seven and three eighths, which will leave me with a slight black border like you see here for the back cover. I'm using Marion Smith's garment district papers and I've already cut them to size and cut punch them with my cinch. I'm also using these beautiful journaling cards that I've sandwiched back to back and I'll be sure to li link the Etsy seller that I purchased them from in the description box. Here's all my journaling papers. Some of them I've added pockets to, straight pockets and then also a scalloped edge pocket. And I'm using some Fabri-Tac and going around the entire edge of my paper and also the middle. I want to make sure that this is adhered very well. Like I, like I said, it leaves me with a slight black border, which I think is so pretty against this paper. So I'm adding the inside of the front cover as well. And I love the Fabri-Tac. It adheres very well and it definitely does not come up. I'm going to use my ATG and sandwich some of the journaling cards. I did most of them off camera to prepare. And now I'm just going to finish punching the remaining pieces. The rest of them I've already prepared just to make the video a little bit quicker. I've been asked before if the cinch is better than the bind it all and I actually have owned both of them and I hated the bind it all. I love my cinch. I use it a lot. So now I'm just simply putting the papers in order that I want them to be so I can bind them together. Here I realized this was cut a little too large so I had to cut it down to size and I'm just alternating some pockets along with some of the pattern papers and some of the beautiful journaling cards. I'll go back at the end and add some journaling cards to the pockets as well. So now I'm going to pull out my wire uh, my wire binding and I end up changing my mind. I'm cutting this down to size I add all my papers to it, but in the end, you'll see that I changed my mind. I changed my mind a lot in this project. So when you're using your cinch, you want to add your inside pages first, then your front cover, then your back cover, and you want the right sides facing each other, the two covers, the good sides facing each other. Really easy to use. The, the wire binding that I'm using here is one and a quarter inch and it was just a little too large. So I went to my stash and I pulled out a wire binding that was one inch and I was really happy with the size of that. So here's where I'm looking and I decided I wanted to change my mind. So I just simply pulled those apart. I can use that for another project and I'm using a spiral wire binding. So I'm using some clamps to hold my project together so it doesn't move on me so I can quickly adhere that together, it, um, uh, add the binding. And I was really happy with how this turned out. So once I get that on there, then I just use my wire snips and cut it to size. Now for the front of my cover, I decided I wanted to use this DCWV glitter stack and I'm not measuring, I'm just eyeballing it and cutting a mat for my image on the front. And again, this is all from the same Etsy seller that I purchased these from, so I'll make sure to link those down in the description box. So I'm using my Fabri-Tac, adding that. And now I wanted to add a white mat to it as well. Here is some black chipboard. I wanted to give my piece a little bit of dimension, so I'm adding two pieces of the black chipboard. And my hot glue gun was ready, so I just used some hot glue to add that to it. And I decided I wanted to add a little bit of the silver glitter paper behind it. So again, I'm not going to measure, I'm just gonna eyeball it, and I'm gonna cut that into a banner shape, which in the end, I don't end up keeping. Like I said, I did change my mind a lot as this was going. So to make that stand out more, I wanted a black mat. But if you remember, I have the chipboard under it. So I wanted the black mat right up against the white mat. So I just pulled off that chipboard, add my piece to the black mat. It didn't affect it at all. It, it, was, it was perfectly fine. It didn't rip or anything like that. And now I'm going to replace down my chipboard to give it dimension and then add that to the top of the flag banner shape. 
Again, wanting that to stand out a little bit more from my front cover, I traced a black piece of cardstock in the same shape, cut that out and added that behind. And I liked it, but I thought it was a little too harsh for what I was going for. So that's why I ended up changing my mind from the banner shape. I'm pulling out lots of gorgeous flowers from Wild Orchid Crafts. They make any project prettier, that's for sure. So I'm using some tea roses, open roses, hip rose buds. In the end, you'll see I use some flat back glitter balls, some pearl loops, lots of beautiful products. Like I said, I'll be sure to link them down in the description box as well as over on my blog. So here's where I changed my mind. Again, I pulled off that glitter paper. It didn't rip or anything like that. And now I'm using the same punch I used for some of my pockets inside the journal, which is a Martha Stewart lacy edge punch. So I'm doing that to both the silver paper and the black. And I loved it so much that I added a piece to the top as well. I wanted that to, to go on the top of my focal image. So I'm just re-adhering that down. And off camera is where I cut my pieces to size and used my punch. And once I glued them down, you couldn't even tell that they were two separate pieces. It looked like one continuous piece. Here you'll see in just a moment. Here's the pieces I'm talking about. Once I glued them down, they matched up perfectly. I love making these journal books. They're quick and easy and absolutely gorgeous. I recently made one for a coworker of mine and she told me that she's been adding photos to it. So you can use it as like a smash book. You could use it as a brag book, a journal book, or just for notes. So here's where I start to pull out all the gorgeous flowers. They match perfectly with that journal card and using some hot glue I adhered them down. I like to just kind of set them around, kind of get, decide what I'm going to do before I adhere everything down. And then once I'm happy with the, the base of it, I'm going to start adhering it down. So I will let you continue to watch. I hope you've enjoyed today's process. Thanks so much for stopping by and make sure to stop by Wild Orchid Crafts for all their amazing products. Mm -hmm.